Hey beautiful people and welcome back to 50 Cent's Beautiful Fragrance channel where we share and discuss fragrance together guys. Hey guys and today we have a really special guest, Carla here. Hi everyone. <laughs> and she will be rating her favorite dark mysterious fragrances or heavy fragrances that you can rock to a night out or to a special event. Um, and she picked her top 10 and if you're interested stay tuned guys. But before we start guys, uh, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this beautiful fragrance channel down below. To not miss out on any new video, maybe also with Carla again, if you like her, just comment. So introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Carla, I'm 26 years old, I'm a nursing student here in Cologne. Um, I love cats and uh, I've been a friend for, I think, we've been friends for like six, seven years yeah. already. So yeah. For a long time For a already. long time, so uh, I've been smelling different things for a long time and now he's forced me to <laughs> smell all of them. Yeah. And somehow we managed to pick out my yeah. favorites. So uh, we came up with uh, like 20 fragrances but also like with a little bit more fresher take so today we will make a list with like more heavy and dense fragrances maybe also for the winter time more for something or for special occasions so uh, just we can just start with whatever you like. I'll just pick out this one. Okay yeah. well, also one of my favorites. Ocean of a Midnight Moon by Simone Andreoli. Uh -huh. So um, what do you like about this fragrance so much that you choose it for your top 10? Um, I like that it's like not too much on the nose, so it's like a little bit more yeah. underlaying, it's very fresh, it's it's like a we, we said it's like a summer evening at the beach or yes. at the like fits the name, right? Yes, yeah, yes. So yes. I would say that's the same. Absolute. It's it's very fresh, it's very nice. I, I like So you think it's like citrusy, fresh, but also has some depth to it, right? Yes, like a little bit of salt water. I feel like it kind of tells like a little story of like a very nice evening out at the beach. And then do, what kind of men do you see or what kind of people do you see wearing this kind of fragrance? So you said like for a night out, maybe in the summertime, right? Yeah, like summertime, maybe. Um, yeah, I feel like everybody could yeah. basically wear that. It just depends on your vibe. It's unisex, so. It's unisex. It depends on your vibe. If you want to smell like a very nice, relaxing evening out. Mm -hmm. And like if you if you would rate it like if ten is like the best fragrance mm -hmm. you ever smelled, what kind? You can be st like strict. Also, what kind mm -hmm. of? I mean, going into like these very soft, subtle smells, I, I would say that's like a strong nine. Nine. Yeah. Wow. Because okay. it's. I, I don't like smells that, that are like too heavy yeah. uh, and I like smells that you don't really recognize right away that someone's wearing them but you mm. kind of like sense it, you know, because smells do something with you and you mm. do smell them but you don't realize that you smell them and I think that's a very nice one. But I have to say uh, this, uh, this is an eau de parfum, so... <laughs> <laughs> I have it, no it idea is, what it's about. <laughs> no, it's, it's really strong, so don't yeah, overspray too much with it because oh, you were yeah. saying like it's, it should be lingering around you, right? Yes, so yes. Not, not always spray with this when you spray like three times, it's more than enough. So that was the first one and you gave it like a nine, right? Yes. Okay. I mean, that was the ones that we picked out, I all yeah. liked a lot. So, so he said it. also to other fragrances in my collection that they are really good, but this was really her favorite yeah. and it was really hard to pick for her. So uh, that has to mean something. Ocean of a Midnight Moon by Nesimone Andreoli. So next up guys, we have a fragrance. Uh, I will show them. Jazz Club by Mesa Magella. Of course, you heard a lot of about this on this channel already. That I love it, but and she's a little bit biased. Yeah, I have to say, Replica is one of my favorite brands of perfume. So of course, I gravitated towards it. Um, Jazz Club is, I mean, it, it's dark. It's like a little bit but smoky. You, it's but do you think it really smells like it? Could, could you imagine this being yes. in a Jazz Club, or is it yes, more? Yes, that's what I love about yeah. Replica. I mean, yeah. it's in the name. You kind of. With, I mean, not with all of the perfumes that they do, but like most of them, you actually feel like the thing that it says. Yeah. So yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. So it does smell like a jazz club, like a sexy. And of course, you can say like, what which other one you like the most. You you told me autumn. <laughs> no, it's after the rain. After, after the, the rain. rain, because I truly feel like it smells like walking through a forest after it rained, like on a yeah. spring day. So it's it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful smell. And uh, what I like about replicas that they don't like smell like perfume, but they do smell like events or feelings and yeah, I think that's, that's something it's a nice concept right? yes yeah it's and very tricky maybe you can see that you have like a Swedish roots so oh she, yeah I, I, she I am, likes to be in the forest yes <laughs> I always look for smells that remind me of the forest that remind me of moss or uh, just like nature and mm. yeah and you would say this is sexy on it's everyone, everyone? Yeah. I think if you wear this you're just yeah. automatically a 10 
So. Yeah, I think it's like really uh, not too dense, right? It's a little bit like airy around you and the vanilla in there is really mm -hmm. nice and the boozy note, I really like it. And I also can, for example, I don't know, but a friend of mine is also wearing this right now as a signature and uh, I like it on him too. So uh, you yeah. like it, right? I love it. I think I will get a big ball of this. Yeah, you, you probably <laughs> should. I would also say a strong nine. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Strong nine? Strong nine. Okay. Strong nine for jazz Two club. strong nines already. By Meso Magella. Starting off with Comme de Garçons, you have to Comme de Garçons, two men. And I haven't talked about this fragrance, I think, now on this channel yet, but you instantly really liked this one, right? Yes, I loved it. it I think she found it really sexy. Yes. <laughs> the thing with this one is it, it it's gonna sound weird, but it kind of smells like an old church, but in a sexy mm. way. So it smells like old architecture, like mm. a little bit mysterious, run, uh, mystic, a little bit run down but in a good way, like in a really good way, mm. so yeah. But you also get like a clean facet to it, right? It's not just... Yeah, like an underlaying, like it's a, it's an underlaying cleanness, an underlaying sharpness to it mm. as well, so that like ties it together really nicely, um, yeah. And what do you say, which film character would fit this one really good? <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> well, earlier I said... Uh, no, I asked... not, the, not the priest one. Not the priest one! <laughs> It would fit a priest also because it has like incense and it, for me it smells a little bit like you blow out candles in an old church, but well, <laughs> you said something different. Yeah, we're just gonna cut this out. <laughs> no, but I, I feel like it's very powerful. Like it's a very mm. powerful smell. There is a lot of energy behind like a lot of... I, I'm... I want to say like big energy, like a powerful energy. Okay. Not, not even just like a masculine one, but like... So you would say it fits like a CEO type of person or more like like an alpha kind of person? No, personality? well, no, I've, yeah, like a CEO kind of person, but like one that understands women, you know? <laughs> oh, that's like, even better. Yeah, like not the, the asshole kind of, <laughs> yeah. but like the... Not the, not the douchebag, Not right? the douchebag, okay. the, the, the one who knows how to talk to mm. women and who knows what he wants and who knows what women want and not okay. just how to seem rich. Yeah. Yeah. I see, so that would be a That's good nice. fit for like a boyfriend for you, right? Or something yeah, like that you would like to smell on a man. Yeah, may maybe take. maybe like a husband. More husband material. More more husband material. Yeah. Okay, no, no, so not just like a date night fragrance. No, more no, like it's, that's day. more grown up. It's more okay. like sophisticated yeah. nice. as well. So yeah. I think it's really artistic <laughs> because for me it really smells like deep or like it has like really dense to it. It's not like a fresh, your normal fresh fragrance. Mm -hmm. Like I said, not like this typical like citrus fresh. Yeah. It has like a really like personality and a uniqueness to it, I would yeah, say. Yeah, we also said like a gallery, like in the yeah, after, so like, like an that. art gallery yeah. as well. So it's like very sophisticated, very yeah. was, do, grown would you, up. Would you say, see it also on an artistic person, like yeah. for like a painter or yeah. musician or something like yes, this? Yes, as well. Like either very, very creative or very, very successful. Okay. Or both. Or both, okay. That sounds really good. But <laughs> And uh, out of 10, how would you rate this fragrance? Also nine or already more or less? Uh, well, it's, it's hard because I started with a nine. So. <laughs> yeah, that's always, yeah, that's uh, always, always difficult problem. afterwards. Um, well, the thing is, it's a very niche yeah. smell. So in this niche, I'd say that is pretty close okay. to the perfect perfume okay. for that niche, if you want to smell like that. I feel like some people might not like it, mm. so I'm gonna put it at like an eight. But mm -hmm. if you want this dark, mysterious, artsy, sophisticated smell, that's okay. a pretty good choice. So, eight points for Two Men by Comme des Garçons. Okay, next up, guys, uh, we have Jaipur Om, <laughs> the Eau de Parfum by Boucheron. And that was a really, uh, I was really. Uh, surprised that you took this one, but she really, really likes this one. Why, why, why do you like this one so much? It's delicious. It's oh. very cinnamony. It's very spice heavy. It's, um, but not like in an artificial way. Mm -hmm. So, um, what you just said earlier, like it's a very delicious cinnamon soap, but the kind you want to eat. You know, you know mm. this kind of soaps where you like smell and you're like, oh, I want to eat this. Mm. That's basically the same smell. So it's also quite niche, mm. but it just smells so delicious, cinnamony. <laughs> Spicy, warm, very warm, like wintry, Christmassy yeah. going. It's, it's, you said that it reminds you a bit of like uh, festival days, yes, right? Or festive yes. days. 
So, or here in Germany, we have something called the Chris. Oh wait, wait, you have them probably everywhere. Like Christmas <laughs> markets, the candy stands, or the candles yeah. and everything. It's so. Yeah. But, and you see it like, uh, but it has a vintage feeling to it. It too, has a vintage say. feeling to it, but yeah, in a good way, right? In a very good way. It's. Yeah, I feel like everybody can wear that. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. So it's, also for the age, maybe yes. someone in his twenties can wear this. Absolutely, right? yeah. absolutely. I can see because it. it does not smell vintage in like the old people way, mm. but like in the oh yeah, that the good old eighties. Okay, so you vibe. also find find it sexy or more like. What, uh, what, I find it more warm, more what, inviting. What occasion you would see this one? So for more like, like a day hanging, night? Hanging out with friends maybe, okay. going out. I think you could probably wear this anyway. This is very yeah. inviting. So I feel like ah. you would okay. just seem like an open, nice person, warm okay. person to talk cool. to. Right? How good is it on a scale to 10? From 10? Um, I feel for like you. a lot of people won't really like, like the vintage kind of smell. That's mm. like very particular taste, uh, taste I think so I'd give this also like an eight just because it's not for everyone and you wouldn't wouldn't say this is a summer fragrance right so also no I think it's more like fall or yeah. Christmas but all like fragrance winter. we, we yeah. talk about are more like dance right so yes more like the darker yeah so Boucheron Jaipur Rom Eau de Parfum by Boucheron has an eight out of ten okay guys next up on this list is this one <laughs> Desire Toxic by Amy Kalef and guys, it's my first time having a guest on this channel, so we don't know if what is focusing right now, but you will... Learning by doing. Yeah, yeah. This is Desire Toxic by Emi Kalef. And yeah, this is also a niche fragrance. So yeah, tell me why do you like this one so much? What what do you like about this fragrance? And so I can say a little bit of the notes. It's like a black currant. You have like cinnamon in there. I think you like cinnamon a lot, right? I, I really like cinnamon. And there's yeah. cannabis in the background that gives like this herbal... It doesn't smell like wheat, so... No. Uh, and it has like a after probably a little bit of an after shaving feeling in the background. So mm, so it, you have like this very like clean thing on the one side, like this clean side, mm. very sharp, very uh, I feel, also feel like a little bit of like clean cotton and stuff that mm -hmm. I smell out of there. But then on the other side you have this very well yeah naughty is the best word you said <laughs> it earlier, but it's like. This little bit, the dark side coming through, mm. like underlaying, telling a bigger story, mm. being a little bit more mysterious. Mm. And I like that because on the first, like in the first impression, it's very clean, very straight, very, um, very straight. But then after the time goes on, it like goes deeper and I like a more complex smell that like. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you like dualities in fragrance, yes. right? When yes. they transform and yes. develop on your skin, yes. right? Would you say this is, this is like an everyday fragrance? Can you say see like a man or someone wearing this like to the office? I can see certain people wearing okay. this every day, yeah. but uh, not everyone. Uh, I feel like someone is very sure with them themselves. Mm. Someone who knows what they're doing, knows mm. where they're going. So you, know? you so you would say it's uh, would you say it's like masculine? It's more like unisex for it's you, right? It's very unisex. I okay. feel like it's more it's more a vibe than a gender. Yeah. You know, it's it's very strong. It's very knowing what you want, um, but also having like a little mysterious side to it. Uh, and it has a sexual feeling yes, to it, right? Yes, it's very so, sexy. Yeah. It's yeah. very sexy. Yeah. That is that is for sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. I like it. So, uh, out of ten, how how much many points would you give this one? That's all nine. We're back to nines now. Back to nine. We're back to nines. <laughs> oh, strong nine for <laughs> Emika Levs die sich toxic. So next up, guys, we have Prada. Luna Rosa Black and um, yeah another designer fragrance that you really like and what what did you already told me why you like it uh, I like it because it's it's also like going in the dark direction but it's also at the same time it's mm. very floral it's very powdery it's uh, kind of sweet kind of light at the same time as dark mm. which is, sounds confusing but it makes sense when you smell it yeah. um, so it's, I think, pretty good for people who like want to start going into darker smells, mm. like you said also. So it's not too daring, right? No, it's you not will, too daring. It's you, not... I think it, a lot of people will, will like this fragrance on you. It's just a sexy smell for me. Yeah. And it's something, like you said, it's clean, fresh. You have the uh, cl Prada cleanliness and then you have like this dark, a little bit Tonka beanie. Mm. But it has a smoky vibe to it. Yes, absolutely. Would you say it's more like a winter fragrance or can you also, can also have this one? <laughs> I feel like you could basically wear this all year round. Mm. You could wear this no matter what. I think mm. everybody could wear this. It's very 
also pleasant to, to the office or stuff yes like it, this, it's right? just yeah. very very pleasant yeah. i feel like it's not too on the nose it's not too light that people think like, well, i can't smell anything but it's mm. very subtle pleasant a uh, little bit darker a little bit sexier but like in a very chill way so would you like a man to wear this on a date with you sure why not yeah yeah, yeah. it seems very nice yeah. smells good inviting very inviting very warm yeah. as well so out of 10 how many points would you give prada black oh, like six seven. Oh, okay yeah six seven six seven or what do we say six or seven yeah more, i'm, I'm <laughs> gonna, gonna say people a seven. Want to be like, i'm gonna say a seven seven okay yes okay. i mean it's very good but i like the other ones i like yeah. the niche ones a little bit more and it's just yeah. my personal personal preference but we have to say that carla is really picky with fragrances she's not yeah. into fragrance too much in normal life right but no. you are uh, when she smells my fragrance or when she compliments me on fragrances She's a little bit strict, but that's a good thing for this I'm very channel, picky I would say. Yeah, picky with my smells. Yeah. I, yeah, I like a perfume that smells like the thing it says that it smells. Mm. So I don't want it to smell like artificial, or I don't want it to smell like the idea of something. If you tell me it smells mm. like moss, I want it to smell like moss. Okay. So yeah. And you don't like too much of a simplistic fragrance. No, right? so I, I like darker, some, more yeah. complex, like yeah. changing fragrances. I feel like they kind of tell a story there. Okay. But for that, I mean, Prada, I guess the seven is really good, right? So <laughs> seven points, seven out of ten for Prada Luna Rosa yes. Black. So next up, guys, we have Florian Thal by Comme des Garçons, one of my favorite fragrances. Uh, you know it if you follow me for some times. And we have really different kind of take on this fragrance, I think. Because I think this is really like a... Um, really nice, uh, unique and creative masculine smell. And you think that is? Well, my first thought was like a very, very wealthy old British lady <laughs> sitting in her estate, like with this huge bathrobe, like very woody, very, uh, I said like a little bit like an old library as well. Mm. So very, I, I feel like it's very old, dark, feminine, but in a really mm. good way, mm. like very wise. But what would you women. say makes this feminine for you? More this plum liquor note? Or this Probably, yeah. yeah? yeah. Okay. But would you wear this? Yes, yeah? I would wear that. You want to smell like an old uh, rich lady? I want to be an old rich lady, <laughs> that's the thing. I would Ooh, okay. want nothing more. Okay, okay. So, so a sexy, rich, old lady. Yeah, um, I mean, she can be sexy. She doesn't have to be. She's okay. definitely wise. She has seen mm -hmm. a lot of things. She knows. And she has good taste in perfume. She has right? very good taste in everything. <laughs> Not only perfume. Yeah, she yeah. has good taste in men. She has good taste in food. Ooh, she has good taste yeah. in cats. Yes. Cats. <laughs> really important. Cats. <laughs> yes. But uh, how many points would you give Florian Thai by Comme des Garçons out of 10? Very strong eight. Oh, very strong eight, okay. Very strong eight, yeah. And you would say it's a unique smell also, yes, right? Yes, yes, it is. But is mass appealing or is it like more... I feel like a lot of people like to smell it on you mm -hmm. if you're the person who would want to smell that way. So no one mm -hmm. would mind it, no one would say, yeah. oh, that's a weird smell. But I don't think everybody would want to wear it. Yeah, but that's yeah. a good thing, I would say, right? Yes. Because so you're really unique wearing this, right? Yeah, but still very pleasant. So it's not yeah. like people are going to be irritated or something, yeah. yeah. And. I, because for me it is more like a night out fragrance, would you say it's uh, also casual wearing or...? It's, it's more like a special occasion okay, thing, I yeah, think. Okay. Yeah. But you really like it, I think I 8 really is like it, a yeah. strong 8, so it's really good. Florian Thal by Comme des Garçons. So guys, next okay. on the list is L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum by the beautiful house of Guerlain, so a really hype fragrance. Um, um, but still I think it's really special, right? Um, it's a cherry leather fragrance mm. with some almond in there. I really like the whole line, maybe you know it, but why do you like this fragrance so much? I oh. like that it's fruity, but like not on the nose fruity. And I feel like with a lot of fruit based scents, you always tend to get like this artificial smell mm. very, very quickly. And I really don't like that. And I feel like with this one, it actually smells like the cherry and it smells like a little bit like orange yeah. and like the almond that's in there. And you can actually smell like the natural smells and I like that so do you like cherries in general in fragrances or no also? that's the thing like ah, okay, I feel wow. like if, like I said I feel like mm. these uh, fruity scents are always so artificial and mm, I really yeah. don't like this and when I get a, uh, come across some smell that's like some scent that's not that artificial mm. I tend to say it, that's very good because yeah. it's really hard to find yeah. like a fruity scent that's not also that for, doesn't smell like for women uh, all like fruity floral scents mm, can be a little bit so too much sweet, right yeah, yeah. they're so heavy I don't like and that. 
I like this one because it's just very subtle, it's very fresh. It's, it's like running over your field, it's very fruity, very nice, very subtle, very mm. soft. I feel like you could wear this at any time, any day, mm. any gender, any identity, any, anything. It's just very fresh, very fruity, very nice. And is it chic, chic for you or is it like more casual? Well, um, I think it's more friendly, it's, it's less like casual or okay. chic, it's more like personality vibe so, and, uh, and also every season or is it like well it's, it's more like warmer season perfume i think for you really really yeah for, because no, it's, but, but for me it's like a comedian fragrance sometimes because yeah. it gets super fruity the cherry in the mm. summer month and for like a summer night i would say it's a really nice choice but also it has some spice in there and it is uh, quite dense so i yeah i, I, see I can it absolutely more like because it's more like Uh, on YouTube more like favorite towards like the colder months, but I can see it also working in warm months too. And it's really interesting yeah. that you say more like a warm weather perfume. Well, I like wearing like very dark and mm. mossy woody perfumes, yeah. especially if, like in the darker months. And I think everything that's more fruity is more warm, spring, mm. summer, light, easygoing, breezy. So that's just my perf mm -hmm. personal preference. And how many points would you give Lomi Dial Eau de Parfum out of 10? Ooh, like I must say also a strong nine for this like fruity mm, perfume because yeah. like I said it's so hard to get something that's not artificial smelling mm. and that is very natural smelling. But I think it's really unique and at the same time it has like a mass appealing factor to it so I think it's a beautiful day night fragrance or like special occasion fragrance or a summer fragrance if you want to. So we're talking about L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum by Gala. Okay guys, last two fragrances and the next one uh, Carla chose was Grand Soir by Maison Francis <laughs> Cruc Jean. <laughs> Try to get in focus here. And yeah, this is a really traditional French fragrance. We were talking about it uh, that I really love to wear now for Christmas days because it has like a really cozy vibe to it mm -hmm. and also like quite sophisticated in a way. But I think it's uh, it's nice and really ambery fragrance. It has some. So in the opening you you didn't really like it, right? I, I did not like it in the beginning because yeah. I thought it was just way too sweet, it was way too on the nose, it was just very, very heavy, very overpowering, very like... Well, it was taking in the room, let's just say that. It was mm. it was there, like, it was most <laughs> definitely there. Yeah. So it's a strong fragrance, right? Very, very strong. Mm. Um, but then after a while, like, we let the... Test strip? Test strip, I wanted to say pro. <laughs> The probe. <laughs> the probe. No, the, the test strip. We let the test strip sit for a while and I mm. smell, came back and smelled it after. Uh, after I gave her another chance yes, because yeah. I really like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad I took the chance. Yeah. It does smell very nice after mm. it like, cooled down a little bit. Um, I feel like it's very subtle then again. It's very powdery, uh, very not too sweet, little, uh, but still kind of sweet, but also woody and smoky mm. and yeah. And would you say the name fits the fragrance really well? Grand Soir, like a big night? Would you see it like on a big or like a, to a, a really nice occasion, to a special occasion, or more like the right person can wear this anytime? Uh, I feel like the right person could wear this anytime, but okay. I feel th this kind of feels like an evening at the opera or something. Yeah. Like at the ballet, yeah, like very mm. high, like very special mm. nights, very. Also weddings, I would say, is really nice. Yeah. Fit, but like yeah. you said, going but out. But like the after party, yeah. the wedding. Yeah. yeah. Like not not the wedding wedding itself, but like the after party. And fancy yeah. occasions, I would say, also is really nice. Yes. And for me, it has like a more sophisticated. For me, it's more like, of course, you can wear it in your twenties, but mm -hmm. for me, it has a little bit of a more. I, I can see it's more on a thirty to. 40-year-old woman or man. It smells like a experience a little bit. It smells like yeah. you have lived a little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah, you have seen some stuff. Yeah. yeah. And it's not something that you would just pick up on good Douglas or something nope. and then rock it. So it yeah. has a good taste. It has some taste to it. Yes, you, absolutely. you have to appreciate it for what it is. But I still think it's one of the most beautiful Embery fragrances. It's quite simple, but still high quality. And what would you say? Um, Which number would you give it out of 10? An 8. An 8? An 8 okay. also, okay. yeah. Okay. I would say this is a really inviting fragrance yes. also, but it has a posh feeling to it also, right? Oh, yeah. It's like, okay. yeah, And it's classy. It's very posh. <laughs> so 8 out of 10 points for Grand Soir by Maison Francis Kirkjean. So guys, last but not least, we have a new obsession, I think, for Carla, because this one was really a standout fragrance for you, right? And it's also for me, yes. by the way. It smells like woods. 
Yeah. It smells like trees, it smells like rain, it smells like Sweden in the summer. <laughs> This one. <laughs> uh, Nero Oud by Tiziana Terenzi. Um, gorgeous bottle, by the way, I think. The Absolutely. bottle design is really nice. And yeah, like you said, it's really, it's Nero Oud, so, but really like, it's, I think it's Indian Oud, so it's really woody, not like animalic at all, right? You no, would say like stinky? No, not at all. It's not like, um, oh, it's, wood. It's, it's not rotting wood. It's just very freshly chopped wood, mm. walking through the forest, having the trees just bloom, um, having moss around you. This is very mm. nice, very natural, very... But it also really like dark, forest. right? It has a yes, dark side it to it. It smells like yeah. like a, like forest, like yeah. walking through the forest on a hike in nature. Mm. Just very, very nice, very fresh. And where would you say can you wear this? I mean, you would wear it all the time, I would I say. Wear this <laughs> everywhere. I think I'm going to start to wear it everywhere. Yeah. I give you like a sample because I think she li really likes it. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah, and for me, is it like I like it to wear night outs or like dark nights. It has like this dark feeling. I mean, I think the. The fragrance name is really fitting, but um, yeah, like you said, I think the right person can just rock it all the time. And like you said, I think a strong personality can wear this all the time. Um, and yeah, so for you, also more like a winter fragrance or more like every, I mean, I think you are so is, into I, dark I, I would wear it every <laughs> single day. I think, if yeah. you, uh, I feel like the normal person, you would probably wear this more like on an evening occasion, maybe in the fall, maybe going into winter. Um, mm. It's it's not like the spice kind of winter smell where it's like going mm. into the Christmassy kind of, but it's really like the feeling of fall, going into the forest, being in nature. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I would tend towards more like the colder months. And do we get people. do we get leather with it? A little bit, but like yeah. in a very because like, I always get leather in the dry down. Yeah, it's very subtle in the background, the leather. Okay. So yeah. it's yeah. not too overwhelming, it's not too harsh. So which I also feel like with leathery smells is always very fast, that's way too leathery. Yeah. But this is just a very nice mix. It's just I, she really, really likes it. So she... I'm gonna steal this. <laughs> If this goes missing, don't come looking at my place. <laughs> You, you live too close to my to my to my apartment for that. <laughs> Out of 10? 10. Yeah, it's a 10. That's that's my 10. I've been okay, keeping nice. the 10 empty. This is She wanted tier. to keep this from this for the, for the last fragrance because she likes it so much. Yes. So guys, uh, you hit it right. 10 out of 10. Uh, Nero Oud. I think it's a really nice um, winter fragrance. But like like Carla said, you can rock it all the time. And like I said, I'm curious to to smell it on you one day. So guys, Nero Oud by Tiziana Terenzi gets a strong 10 out of 10. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me down in the comments below what you think about this 10 fragrances Carla picked. It was a pleasure to see you on this channel. Maybe you want to see her again on this channel. Tell or comment down below if you want to see that. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, And I think we make your 10 fresh fragrances next time because she also picked like her favorite 10 fresh fragrances from my collection. So, uh, guys, enjoy your day. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>